Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Thursday, October 13th. And if we look at the headlines here coming up, we've got uh, actually a frost advisory for much of the area tonight. It's not impossible some of the interior sections of uh, north central or central Michigan could be upgraded to a freeze warning. But for now, a frost advisory for tonight, temperatures low to mid 30s across much of the area. And again, some of the locally colder areas uh, like Luther and Harrison up towards uh, Big Rapids, uh, certainly Reed City. You can see temperatures drop into the uh, upper 20s to low 30s. But again, uh, it's going to be a warming trend over the weekend. We'll have high temperatures today only in the 50s, probably low to mid 50s for many areas. And then we'll warm up to around 60 or so as we get into Friday. And then over the weekend, I think temperatures will be around 70 both days. And we'll have our uh, chance of thunderstorms and rain move in for uh, Saturday night on a scattered basis. And that could last right into Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. And again, it'll be a pretty warm pattern with low 70s Monday and Tuesday, maybe even uh, in the mid 60s, around 70 on Wednesday of next week. So again, very warm weather continues. And with the uh, frequent chance of showers, any soybeans that'll get down will probably have to be uh, tomorrow and Saturday before the rains move in. Then I think again, we'll return to uh, probably more in a way of corn harvest. If we look at the uh, normals of the day, our normal high is 62, the normal low is 40. And if we uh, look at the uh, conditions around the area yesterday, the warm spot, Blissfield got up to 79. All locations, for the most part, got into at least the low to mid 70s. Uh, the exception to Wago had a high at 69. And as far as precipitation, the big winter, Henderson at 72 hundreds. But again, we forecasted about three to six tenths of, of an inch in rain. You can see that that uh, really panned out pretty well. And uh, some of the southeastern lo uh, locations, uh, not as much. But again, most areas got a pretty decent amount of rainfall and that uh, took us out of soybean harvest. If we look at the uh, conditions around the area this morning, you can see temperatures mainly in the low to mid 40s across the area. And again, we expect temperatures today to uh, struggle to get into the mid 50s. So if we look at the radar, you can see the area showers and thunderstorms that affected the area yesterday, not well off to the east. And if we uh, look at the uh, satellite view, you can see that area of clouds moving off with the uh, cold front to the east. And we're looking at some high pressure that's going to be moving in from the west overnight. And that's going to calm our winds and we'll see clear skies. And that'll be a good setup for radiational cooling. And you can see that on the wind flow map. You can see our flow pretty decent out of the northwest right now. But you look back in Wisconsin and back towards southern Minnesota, much, much lighter winds depicted by the shorter lines from the wind direction. That's that area of high pressure. And again, as that moves across the state tonight, That'll give us some clear skies, calm winds, and that'll allow our temperatures to really drop off quite a bit, especially when we only have highs in the mid-50s. If we look at the uh, weather map this morning, you can see that high pressure system over Iowa going to be moving off to the east, that cold front well past the area now. A uh, reinforcing shot of cold air will drop down for the day on Friday, and then we'll begin a, a pretty nice warming trend. You can see the warm front that moves uh, to the northern plains here by tomorrow with the low pressure system well off to the west. And then that warm air will begin to surge in over the weekend. You can see by Saturday that warm front clear up near Hudson Bay and James Bay. And again, that'll allow some pretty good warming to take place. But as low pressure moves up these fronts, very slowly we're going to see a uh, chance of showers and thunder showers increase late in the weekend. As far as precipitation, how much we might expect. Oops, that is the wrong map. Hopefully I have the new one. Uh, yes, this is the new one over the next seven days. You can see... Plenty of precipitation coming up uh, from that period from late Saturday into next Wednesday when many areas can see over an inch of rain. So again, it looks like we're going to struggle to go back and forth trying to get edible beans and soybeans harvested here in the upcoming days. If we look at the uh, latest uh, SOI index, you can see we're beginning to see a pretty good crash against the 30 day. And that's an indication that we could begin to see some troughing develop across the eastern part of the United States, including us here in the Great Lakes. That would be in about 10 to 12 days, but until then, it's going to be quite warm. And you can see that on the 6 to 10 day outlook, much of the eastern part of the country, again, warmer than normal. And as far as precipitation, again, with systems moving across the north, picking up the Gulf moisture, we expect to be a little bit above normal. But again, we could see some decent changes here in about two weeks as far as temperature uh, profiles go. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day and 73s to all.